Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi will be travelling to France in July. He is uh, the guest of honour at the Bastille Day. With me is the French Ambassador to Delhi to talk about this significant visit. So welcome to Vion. Nice to be here. And my first question to you, Your Excellency, is how do you see this visit as, how significant is this visit of the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi uh, to France? Very significant. It's a rare occasion, rare honor. As uh, you know, uh, it's not every year that we have a country guest of honor. And this year, for the 25th anniversary of the uh, strategic partnership, we wanted to have Indian troops on the Champs Elysees and Indian Rafale in the sky to show the strength of this partnership. Mm -hmm. How do you characterize the relationship between India and France? It's a very substantive relationship uh, and we have seen engagement in almost every sector from defense to education. So if you can talk about this relationship, uh, where do you see this relationship going forward? Exceptional relationship based on trust and it's been the case for decades. It's been all weather partnership. There's been some good time, and for our two countries, obviously, there have been some challenges. But each time we have challenges, the other partner was standing at our side and helping. I mean, there are numerous examples in your history. You did nuclear tests. We showed you had issues at, for security at your borders. We were in the UN. We were there. We're always there, and you did reciprocate each time we needed some support. And uh, as an ambassador here, I lived through the COVID, and I know how India was instrumental and uh, generous with uh, medical drugs, which we are direly needed for French hospitals, and uh, French people are grateful for that. Mm -hmm. And the French also helped India when India suffered through the deadly wave. During your second wave, we brought some uh, container of oxygen uh, with a company called Air Liquid, and we brought also, thanks to the generosity of many companies, oxygen generators, each of them uh, providing enough oxygen for a 200 bed hospital. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, the most important outcome is to draft the roadmap for the cooperation between our two countries for the next year, maybe, I wouldn't say the next 25 years, but uh, we, want, uh, we have a great partnership and we want to open new cooperation, we want to uh, be able to uh, share more technology, to develop together more technologies, to, uh, to be more autonomous. We want also to increase on all the existing cooperation. We want more and more people-to-people -people exchanges because we feel that uh, under the partnership, that's the foundation of it. And we want more students uh, from India to our university and uh, colleges. We think they are very welcome. We want more students from India learning French. There are already six, more than 600,000. We want also more and more companies uh, from both countries investing in the other country to provide prosperity, uh, we want more and deeper cooperation. Mm -hmm. Deeper cooperation. Now let's go into the various pillars of this relationship. Let's start with counter-terrorism. India and France have engaged uh, at several levels, including at the United Nations Security Council, where both countries have jointly put out names for designation. So if you can elaborate on how this counter-terror cooperation has been going between the two countries. Well, our two countries have been uh, and are faced with a scourge of terrorism. I mean, your country has been uh, deeply hurt as mine. And uh, this has made us exceptional uh, partners in the fight against terrorism. I mean, our uh, elite unit, uh, Black Cats in India, the NSG, uh, are training with their, their sister institution in my country. We exchange a lot of info, intelligence to, uh, to fight against terrorism. And uh, as you said, in all the uh, international, multinational bodies, we also are partnering. Mm -hmm. And this, this is true at the UN and uh, uh, while you were uh, in the Security Council and we want to see more of you, uh, as you know, in the Security Council since we support a permanent m membership for, for India, but also in, uh, in the conferences and the cycles that uh, uh, we have initiated, an uh, important conference to tackle uh, the financing of terrorism. 
uh, which is called No Money for Terror. Mm -hmm. And you know the first conference in Paris. And we were very happy that uh, uh, India accepted to take over the initiative and, and to uh, welcome in Delhi the last conference. And now is promoting a permanent uh, uh, secretary for this institution, which has yielded already outstanding results. Mm -hmm. uh, space. Uh we saw this week a dialogue happening on space. In fact, its name is the uh, first India-France strategic space dialogue. If you can elaborate on what we are looking forward to in terms of this dialogue. Well, I India and France have been outstanding uh, partners in space for uh, six decades. I mean, uh, ISRO and CNES uh, have been uh, jointly uh, working on uh, different technologies. Uh, the, uh, your uh, satellite for climate observation have been all launched on uh, uh, our uh, launchers and there, there is some uh, undergoing cooperation and as, as you know uh, and, uh, France is partnering to uh, support uh, the important venture which will be Kangayam, uh, the inhabited uh, space flight that should take place very soon now that we're providing some instruments, we're providing also some physical training for, for your astronauts mm -hmm. uh, and this is very important. Right now with this visit we're also thinking uh, to work on some technologies and to uh, work on some project and I'm sure that the announcement will be there. Mm -hmm. So nuclear cooperation, France was perhaps the only country that supported India when we were being sanctioned in 1998 after our tests and uh, it has been very supportive. Uh, when it comes to Jaipur nuclear power plant project, what kind of update uh, you have, if you can talk about that. Uh, we saw there was some meetings as well last year. Uh, anything constructive we are looking forward to? Uh, Jaipur is civilian nuclear. Huh? Let's, yes. be, let, 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 let's be very clear. I mean, the, uh, that's a project which uh, is a top priority. I mean, uh, the world is amazed by the commitments by India to, uh, to foster, to, uh, to speed up uh, the, uh, the energy transition. I mean, the, uh, the investment in uh, renewable energy is amazing, is massive, and we're all impressed. And, and French companies are taking part into that uh, shift. Mm -hmm. Right now, about 10% of the installed capacity of solar energy in India are thanks to French company. But we also know, and our, all our countries are faced with that, that uh, you also have to change the base load of your, uh, of your energy mix. Uh, and for us uh, to, to get out of coal, obviously uh, nuclear is the key. As you know, in my country, 80% of the energy is provided by, uh, by nuclear uh, uh, energy, and we have the cheapest electricity in Europe thanks to that. And that's why we, we, would, we would like to, to share this technology with India, and there's been a, uh, a project uh, uh, to build some uh, nuclear reactor in Jaitapur, mm -hmm. which has been being discussed for, for a few years. And uh, we're making progress and hope uh, it will uh, come up to a final conclusion. Mm -hmm. uh, final conclusion, uh, moving on to Indo-Pacific. Uh, France is seen as a resident power uh, in the Indo-Pacific. It is, it is. It is. It is. We're, we're India's neighbor. Yeah, you're India's neighbor, it's yeah. well known. Uh, so in the Indo-Pacific, what kind of cooperation India and France are looking forward to? Because this is a region where a substantial trade passes through. This region also has seen a lot of geopolitical contestation, especially by the Chinese. Well, we, we have a lot to do in common. I mean, we have the same values. We are attached to uh, freedom of navigation, to the rule of law, to UNCLOSE, to... Um, and also we have the same, I would say, global approach. Uh, we're not confrontational, but we are serious, we're committed, we're consistent, and we want to be comprehensive. So we do a lot. Uh, we share info, we have uh, 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 liaison officers and uh, our, our situation centers uh, share info. We also uh, have some uh, operational, our navies are working together. Uh, our bases, for example, in La Réunion, are, are used also by, uh, by your forces. And uh, we also want to go further and also to, uh, to improve uh, uh, connectivity in the region together. That's uh, also with the EU, with the, uh, the Global Gateway uh, project. 
and uh, work also to provide uh, jointly to provide uh, uh, development assistance so that the countries uh, that want to develop in the region and uh, it's uh, it's a, it's a real need they can they can do so with uh, uh, funds with no string attached and which uh, will promote uh, some projects which are uh, uh, sustainable financially also for the environment clean transparent mm -hmm. so uh, india has been facing a particular problem with its neighbor china who has been very aggressive with india in its northern borders how does france plans to support india uh, when it comes to the ongoing situation well france always stand for the respect of uh, territorial integrity of uh, the sovereignty of the countries and for, for the principle enshrined in the UN Charter. Uh, and we always stand for peace. And as your Prime Minister said uh, in Samarkand, this is not the era of war. Uh, so my last question to you is, there are several trilaterals we have seen where France and India are the common uh, denominators. Uh, we have with UAE, we have with other countries. What's the focus like? I mean. What's the outcome like? What are we planning at? Well, uh, to uphold our values in the Indo-Pacific, given the magnitude of the challenges, there won't be uh, too much or too many countries of goodwill. Mm -hmm. So it's very important to be pragmatic and to, uh, to work with the countries which are willing to, uh, to provide uh, a positive assistance to, to the region. Mm -hmm. We've been uh, initiating cooperation with uh, our two countries, with the uh, UAE, with Australia, and, and we, we shall continue to do so. Maybe one day we'll be also with a country like Indonesia and uh, all the like-minded to uh, promote uh, uh, the values we are deeply attached to. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much, sir, for speaking to Vion. It was a pleasure speaking to you here at the French Embassy, and we all look forward to the visit of the Indian Prime Minister to France. Thank you, sir.